so I've managed to balance the phone and the steering wheel. Um, Lord knows what the angle looks like. I'm also hiding my face because of uh, the whacking great cold on my lip. Mm, nice. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what stress does to you. That's what stress does to me. Stressed out. Mm. Facial explosion. It's nice. It's very really nice. It's attractive. Um, didn't hear come. Didn't what? Hello. Didn't come here to talk about my uh, cold sores and my stress. I came here to talk about Judy. Just come out of the cinema. Just stopped crying. Um, punched me right in the feels at the end there. Overall, it's okay. It's not great. It's solid as biopics go. Um, it very specifically shows the end of Judy's life, I guess, um, leading up to her death at the age of 47. Um, she finds herself broke and she gets offered a string of gigs at a club called the Talk of the Town or a theatre um, in London. So off she goes to do these shows. And it really is just about her looking for something she's been looking for her whole life I guess which is acceptance and love there are a few flashback scenes not too many um I will say the girl the actress who plays young Judy I thought was fantastic um I did clock her name on the credits just now and I've forgotten it already which is bad form Darcy something um she was very good I liked her a lot the flashbacks are awful in the sense that it just shows how much she was manipulated, how badly she was treated. You see her being plied with drugs, you know, take these to do this and then take these to do that and don't argue and don't eat and do as you're told and it really is quite uncomfortable because you know that that's probably what went on. Um, interestingly, although it has changed a lot, I read an article um, recently, an open letter from the actress Jeanette McCurdy. Now, you might not know who that is, but if you have a... I was going to say a teenage daughter. I don't have a teenage daughter. But my daughter loves um, iCarly and she loves Sam and Cat. And Jeanette McCurdy is the Sam of Sam and Cat and she also plays the same character in iCarly. Um, and that actress wrote a very open, very honest um, article about her eating disorder and how working in the sort of children's television industry fueled that. So while I would like to think it's better now, I don't think it's a problem that's gone away. So yeah, it is awful watching young Judy be manipulated and then seeing the impact that that's had on Judy as an adult, how frail she is, how fragile using alcohol and pills to numb the pain um it is quite a sad story i guess it has its moments uh renee zellweger is very good in the role i never stopped seeing renee zellweger it wasn't one of those biopics like with um taron edgerton and rocket man and rami malik in bohemian rhapsody where i kept forgetting that it was an actor playing a part with renee zellweger i didn't do that she was always very much Renee Zellweger playing Judy Garland, but that doesn't mean that she wasn't very, very good at it. Um, particularly with the singing. Obviously, I know Renee Zellweger can sing because she sang in Chicago, but this is very different. She's obviously had a lot of work, a lot of lessons, done a lot of work and had a lot of lessons to sound like Judy. And she really does. So it's those moments, the performances, where the film really sort of comes alive. She's also very funny in the role and she plays the tragedy very well. She's got all of Judy's sort of tics and, you know, there's a lot in her body language, a lot going on. I haven't, it's not like I'm an expert on Judy Garland, I'm not. Um, but that sort of twitchiness, that anxiety, that discomfort, um, the sort of desperation to be loved and that constant seeking of approval that's in all of her sort of body language all the time. Is actually really quite sad to watch and I think Renee Zellweger does that very well. Um, Jessie Buckley, the actress I was raving about at the beginning of the year from Wild Rose who was a um, long long ago contestant on an Android Idol by Star Search, the I'd do anything one. She plays um, a character called Rosalind 
whose job it is to get Judy on stage every night, which is a harder job than you'd imagine because of the booze and the pills and the men and the, well, not the men, but the man and the drama and the nerves and, like I say, the anxiety and the self-doubt. So she plays this sort of buttoned-up British character very well. Um, then it's quite lovely to see the relationship between her and Judy develop, but they don't become besties, and I think that's that's really well done. The guy who played the band leader was very good. Overall, you know, it's solid. It looks good. I like the... 60s London um, I thought the costumes were great Jesse Buckley particularly she's such a beautiful creature and any clothes you hang on her she just looks fabulous some of Judy's dresses were insane you know um, really iconic looks and just the black hair and the um, you know just the like I say the, the, there's so much desperation in her face um, you only see the character, the actress who plays Liza Minnelli, Judy's older daughter, once. My God, where did they find her? Like, she is the absolute spit and double of a young Liza Minnelli. It was crazy. Um, so, yeah, it's good. It's all right. It's biopics go. I like that it did a particular snapshot of Judy's life rather than the whole thing. Like I say, you've got those flashbacks. Um... But it doesn't do the whole of her career because the, that even though she died at 47, that's kind of almost too much to fit in. So, yeah, I think it was an interesting take. The musical numbers were amazing. You get that one musical number that you're expecting right at the end. And like I say, it just absolutely did me in and I did have a good old cry. Um, so if you're a fan, see it. Um, if you're not, then wait for it to come round. I nearly said on video. It is 2019, folks. And I nearly said on video. Which I think is my cue to go. Because I'm clearly very tired. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Judy. See it, don't. Like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel. Do any of those things. Um, and thank you very much for watching. Katie out.